in today's video, I want to talk to you about confidence. And this is kind of hard because I want to address two things. Number one, I do want to address my opinion on the industry and life and personal perception and society and things like that. But at the same time, I wanted to keep this video short. So I want to give you tips and tricks on being confident. What I personally found gave me confidence, but my videos are always over 10 minutes. I want to keep this under five. Go figure. So this video is going to leave a lot of loose ends. So please comment, share your discussions, but tell me if there's something specifically you want me to go more in depth on. Um, but first and foremost, I do want to talk about confidence and first off say that I am not a super confident person. I am, but I'm not. And I think that that's important because everyone thinks that being confident means that you never have a bad day, that you're always on top of everything, and that is so not true. I guess I would consider myself a confident person, but I have very high highs and very low lows. And, um, you know, being on YouTube, that's another video, maybe we should have a discussion. I do feel like there is an obligation to not be fake. I am completely myself when I am here. I'm actually more real here than I am to people in real life, which is kind of weird. Um, but I don't feel judged with you just because my YouTube family got me through so much. But I feel like I can be more authentic. But at the same time, I do feel like there are certain things that I shouldn't say or um, talk too much about if people don't know my opinion. For instance, I have opinions on certain subjects, whether they be political or personal or whatever it is, and I feel like if whoever is watching this video doesn't understand my views, they wouldn't be under, they wouldn't be able to understand um, where I'm coming from from that. So that being said, I do feel like there is um, certain things that are not always appropriate to talk about, which I would love to talk about, but at the same time, you know, you try to mention one or two things and some people get, um, you know, they don't understand my opinions, so they see things differently. So that being said, um, when it comes to confidence, words definitely hurt. They have always hurt me. I've always been the kind of person who just wants to be friends with everyone. And the truth is that everyone doesn't want to be friends with me. But I have been able to find confidence. For me, it was mainly aesthetic, which is very sad. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I can say that I love myself and I have loved myself. But it's hard. And I don't know. It, it does get easier once you learn certain things. But it is difficult for me. And the number one thing for me personally that helped me find my own confidence was finding purpose in my own life realizing what I live for. Why do I wake up every morning? And tell me if you want a video on how to define yourself or how to find your purpose in life, because for me, that's helping other people. Um, I'm probably not allowed to say this, but so what? I'm going to. Um, I have a secret project in the works. I've loved to help people all my life, and I am working on a nonprofit that does exactly that. And through YouTube, that's another outlet of helping people. When I was little, I loved being this Girl Scout. Why? Because I was able to help people. Um, I would always volunteer at senior centers, and I just did it because I loved helping people. And what's weird is that I kind of, it's totally not a selfish thing, but it's kind of selfish in my mind, which is kind of twisted, and I'll explain why, because the reason that I love helping people is because of the feeling that I get. So it's kind of selfish in the sense that I'm helping others just for that feeling of just completeness. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you see that you've made a difference in someone's life, there is nothing more in this world that you can ask for. And if you've ever helped someone to the point that you've changed their life, you know how that feels. And it's just, that feeling is what gives me life. And I definitely believe that God put me on this earth. That's another thing. This is totally, confidence is confidence regardless of what your beliefs are. Like I said, this is just a personal statement. Um, it's late, by the way, so if I'm a little bit slow on my words, I apologize. But I believe that God put me here because I was meant to help people and I was meant to make this world um, or do my best to just spread love and hope and happiness because those are things that I don't have all the time but when I do I know how beautiful they are and when I can try to help someone else find that it's just so much more beautiful together and tying back into confidence I believe that having confidence is being strong in who you are being able to stand up and say this is who I am this is what I believe in this is what I represent 
And people can fake confidence. That's a different video. This is about having confidence, not portraying confidence. You can portray confidence by rolling your shoulders back, sticking your head up high, smiling, making direct eye contact, um, a firm handshake. Those are all things you can do to convey confidence and fake it until you make it or whatever. Um, but And sometimes you can work on that on the outside and it will come to the inside. But for me, the biggest thing, when I was so insecure, I would try to do those things. But in the inside, you're breaking down and you're falling apart. But for me, the biggest thing was realizing and coming to terms with who I am. And if I like something, it's okay to like that. And if I don't, it's okay to not like that. And if I do believe this, that's perfectly fine. And if I don't, then that's my opinion. And being able to respect other people's opinions and um, just to really be happy with who I am and realize this is who God made me. This is who I am at this point. My opinions can change in the future and I'm definitely going to respect the opinions of others. But this is who I am. My name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm a model, I'm a student, I'm a YouTuber, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a Christian. I'm someone who loves to exercise, I love cats, and I love to have fun. I am someone who doesn't think that gays go to hell. I am someone who does have personal political views. I will not vote for either president if they support the death penalty. I am someone who believes in eating clean food and eating clean water and taking care of yourself and that's not something I came to terms with until quite recently. I've been having struggles with my, my tummy troubles which we've talked about before and um, I've always, that's a total another video, I've always had body issues and not in the sense that people would think. I have always been too skinny, sickly, Cassie long legs, freak of nature, all these nasty hurtful words and I would never sit there and pick on someone else for if they're big, if they're small, if they're short, if they're tall, whatever it is. And it is something that has always really hurt me. And like, yes, and um, being in the fashion industry has kind of changed that at the same time, but I've always had issues. And all my life, I really tried to gain weight. And it's been a huge struggle and I'm still struggling with it. And there have been times where I just kind of gave up and I said, I'm not going to try this anymore. Like it's too much. I've never really been on a diet and I lost so much weight. I was going through some stress when my grandfather was dying and I lost so much weight that my family was calling me hurtful, hurtful things. And it was just like, when can I come to the point of saying, this is me, I'm going to eat what I want to eat because I'm healthy. I'm going to be confident with who I am. And recently my tummy troubles have just, God, it's been, I've gone to castings as a model where you're supposed to like, you know, look in a bikini or, you know, look healthy and normal. And because of my tummy troubles, I would have had breakfast and I'm not to here. And people would look at me, this isn't a maternity casting. And it's like, if they just said it kindly, like, okay, but these issues are just so hard. And then my family believes that medicine can cure everything. My mom's in the medical field. So many other people in my family are grandmas. And to be able to not be fixed is just so hard to come to terms with. But honestly, this tummy trouble is like a blessing in disguise in a way, kind of like acne was. As much as I hated it, I cursed it every day. I prayed every day, God, why are you doing this to me? Just kill me. Like, why am I going through this? But if I didn't live through that struggle and go through acne, I would not have you. I would not have self-confidence. I would not be able to understand someone else's point of view. And as terrible as everything was, and as much as I tried to hurt myself and do terrible, terrible things to um, my life and the life of others, it's just like I would go through it all again to be where I am today and to have the support that I have and to have the knowledge and the understanding. And I think that's part of confidence is coming to terms with the things that you've done in the past. We've all made mistakes, but it's about coming to terms with them and accepting that those were a part of your past that maybe you regret or maybe that weren't good, but that's why you are so powerful, strong, beautiful, knowledgeable today. And I think education is key. Not the kind of education that you get by reading a book, but confidence, is, education is essential to confidence, not for like book smarts, but from understanding how to learn from your own mistakes, how to learn from other people's mistakes, education in broadening your spectrum and being confident in what you know because you can back it up from life experiences. Um, where was I going with this? <laughs> so many different thoughts in my mind. This is honestly turning into like a personal video, but 
I believe that confidence is something that definitely comes from the inside and when you have it you really glow and I think that for me the biggest things about finding confidence is being able to love yourself trust who you are trust your decisions and if you make a mistake accept that and be confident in the fact that I made a mistake and I can do something different to prevent that in the future and just being confident with who you are and being positive and surrounded by people who are also um, confident in who you are, people who reinforce who you are. And touching back on my tremie troubles, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because I cannot have grain, soy, gluten, dairy, all this kind of stuff. And I dropped about 30 pounds and then I gained like 50 and then it dropped and then gained and it's like, it's so hard because when you're so low in weight, you're like, okay, finally the industry will accept me. They still won't. So then when you gain so much weight that you weigh, like you're clinically obese, even though I didn't see it on my body, I was clinically obese is according to my weight versus my height ratio. But people who have told me to gain weight all my life still weren't happy. And it comes to the point where you cannot please everyone and you need to do what's right for you. And having confidence is being able to say, you know what, I respect your opinion on how I should look, how I should act, how I should work or feel, but that is not how I am. And I respect your opinion of that, but this is who I am. And that is what confidence is. And this tummy trouble has taught me that, that what's in my food, I do have to take care of. And even if I didn't have this tummy trouble, because I can't eat gluten, soy, dairy, anything, anything. I can't eat grains. I can't eat like trace amounts. Like ugh, it's such a headache. But at the same time, I'm realizing what is in my food. What's in my food? What's in me? What is going to make me the happiest and healthiest and strongest is not what I've been putting in my body for the last 21 years. You know what I mean? And I'm coming to the point where I feel so good about myself on the inside that I can say, you know what, even if you don't agree, you think that I need to eat cheese every day to be healthy and you think I need to do this or need to do that. That's your opinion, but this is what makes me feel good and this is where I stand and how I, I am confident in my decision. And I think that's the biggest thing for me. And this tummy trouble is it's terrible and I'm going through it and it's it gets so hard on certain days because I fall asleep and I have pain and I just ache and I fall asleep and I have itches and rashes and it's just diarrhea and it's painful. We'll do a video on it, but it's miserable. It's miserable. But it's coming to the point of saying, you can't call me sick. This is something I'm going through. I am confident that I will conquer and achieve and that this is a lesson that was sent to me by God or from the universe or whatever it is that you believe in. This is what was sent to me. This is a test that I have to go through. This is something that's going to teach me in the future. And your opinion is your opinion, but this is what's right for me. And I think that that's what confidence is. I think that being, knowing who you are, and if you don't know who you are, coming to terms with who you are. What makes you feel amazing? What makes you feel good? Try like an exercise, like for the next, like, I don't know, six months, six months, write down at the end of every day, the things that you cannot live without, that you want the most. Let's say it's Monday. You really, really, really want that, that person to like you or call you back. You really want to get a good test score. Um, that's like the most important thing in your life right now. God and family and friends and your cats and this new pair of shoes. Those are the seven most important things in your life right now. Next day. Um, you realize you didn't really care about that person. You just really, really, really still want those shoes and you want God and family and friends and this and that. And then, you know, two weeks later, you really, really, really want to be able to go on that vacation. You really, really, really want to have that opportunity at work or at school. You really, really, really want to get that part or get that opportunity. Um, you know, whatever it is. And you still, you, the things that will make you the most happy in life is succeeding in this or doing this or being this in five years. And have six months. Look at every single thing and tally them up and see what never goes away. And for me, that was God, my friends and my family, and helping others. And I realized those are the three things that I live for. And those, like, I want to run, walk high fashion runways, even though I don't have exactly the perfect measurements for it. That's something I want so bad. But if I never did it, I would be okay. As long as I had God, family, and helping others to, to fuel my passion and my happiness, I would, I would be okay. Even though it's something I want so bad. Even though I want those shoes so bad, or I want that test score so bad. I want that degree from Stanford as a dermatologist so bad. If I don't get it by the end of my life, 
it would be sad, but I would be okay. And finding out those little things that mean a lot to you versus what you actually need versus that guy or that girl, like sh they weren't very important as a friend or as a relationship. You know what I mean? Where at, at one point on one day, it seemed like the entire world would have crumbled without them. But it's about figuring that out and it takes time, but finding out who you are and declaring to the world, this is who I am and this is what I stand for. So that's just how I personally define my own confidence, how I found confidence in myself. And it's, it's still very hard having acne and going, I've never been back to the school that I was bullied at. I ended up switching schools and I've, I still haven't been back. I'm not confident enough to do that. I don't have the strength enough to do that. I don't know what it is. I don't have the, the opportunity or the perfect timing. I still have slip ups on days where I can't even leave my bed because I'm hurting because of some situation. But at the same time, I do consider myself a confident person. I believe that God has put a lot of that in me personally. Um, but that is what I would recommend to other people who are looking for confidence. So that's just me. Let me know if you want a video on how to convey confidence. Like I spoke about the things that you can actually do to convey confidence, you know, eye contact, handshake. Um, if you want a video on more broad things on how to gain confidence, like exercises that I've done before, like you can do in the mirror, like telling yourself a specific thing, setting goals for yourself, because that's very different than how I've found my personal confidence. There are definitely things that I did. I looked at myself and as hard as it was, I said to myself in the mirror, Cassandra, you have acne, but that does not stop you. You are still beautiful. And even the now, those words are so hard to say, but that gave me so much confidence. Or Cassandra, you can conquer this. Um, there are exercises you can do. So let me know if you want a video on exercises, a video on ways to convey it, a video on tummy troubles, a video on the industry and my personal body image and how I've had to deal with that ever since ever. Because you can never please everyone. But like I said, five to 10 minute video, uh-uh, that just didn't happen. <laughs> But either way, I hope that this helps you and gives you just a little bit of insight. So check the bottom tab for other linked videos. And of course, leave your comments so that we can talk. And um, talk to me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook because it is honestly easier than YouTube comments just because of the way Google Plus is set up. Everything is under either Sincerely Cast 11 or Diamonds and Heels 14. So I love you guys. I really do hope that this gave you something, um, if not just more than an insight on what I feel and the way I think. Um, but I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to talk to you all in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.